The other thing about summer that I detest and I don't like is the fashion. I've always detested summer fashion. I feel like it's very limiting. And maybe a lot of the limits I feel with summer fashion might come with like maybe me not knowing how to dress for summer weather because I've never lived somewhere where there's, I've had more months in a year where I'm wearing hot clothes. Most of my time is spent wearing like wintry, autumn kind of type clothes. So maybe I don't have enough practice in it, right? In terms of how to wear stuff. But I honestly do think, especially when it comes to men's fashion, you look at even men's streetwear, for instance. Look at Supreme. All the all your favorite Supreme collections are usually going to be full winter collections, not spring summer. They do a good job of doing good spring summer collections, but most of the best streetwear collection of any brand are always going to be fall and winter. So that could be the case. But Brenda hashtag on Instagram did raise a really interesting point that I want to play here regarding this video on maybe some of the issues around summer fashion. And why it's so hard to get it right and why it generally sucks in general. And she made some very good points here that I want to kind of um, piggyback off the back of. So big up Brenda hashtag on Instagram. Let's see what she has to say regarding summer fashion. You can't love summer and love fashion. Summer is for people who can't dress, in my opinion. I think summer is for hot people, conventionally hot people. You work for their summer body in winter. You get to show up your body and be hot. But I feel like if you love fashion, you love fall, winter, and maybe spring. Every I kind of agree with that point already. I agree with that point. I think summer fashion for the majority of people only really suits people who look good naked. Let's be fair. It's almost like going to the beach. Going to the beach is only good if you are not obese. If you're obese, it's a bit annoying. It's a, it, you feel too self-conscious. You know, you're wrapped up in your head. You're jumping in the ocean with a t-shirt on. You're doing too much, right? It's, it's, it's all a mess, right? Every, anytime I see somebody in the pool with a t-shirt on, I just feel sad because they're going through so much shit. It took them so much courage. It took so much effort just for them to leave the house in a t-shirt to get in the pool. And they think they're kind of be incognito and no one can see them. But actually, it's far worse. It's, you're better off just like letting your rolls and your tits and your love handles and your bingo wings hang out loose and free. And more people are like unlikely to pay attention to you as opposed to you putting a t-shirt on. You think you're putting a t-shirt on is making you invisible like as a camouflage, but it actually makes you stand out way more. But I understand the complex of it. Having been a former fat kid, I understand the complex of like thinking, oh, this is going to make people not think I'm fat. It's like, no, we can see. We can, we will have eyes. We can kind of, you know, deduce what is underneath that shirt and we know it isn't a six pack. So that might be part of the reason. Like a lot of it, especially if you're in the heat, you know, you feel uncomfortable, you're all stumbling all over the place. So the only really place that I see people look really, I think, good in, in heat are usually when you go to like hot countries, especially the Mediterranean. You go to the Mediterranean, you see people there who are like acclimatized, you know, with their locale, with their location where they are, and they kind of dress appropriately. They know how to like wear certain things, feet out, legs out, knees out, shoulders out. It just looks suave. Their bodies are in a certain way. That's very, very important in terms of kind of looking good. Because it's, it's, I would imagine, nigh on impossible to look good in summer clothes, especially if you're fat. Obviously, winter clothes help you more because you can put on layers. But it must be quite hard if you're a little bit rotund to look good in the summer. It's not a, you know, a judgment on you being fat or whatever. It just kind of is what it is. Because I'd imagine in the winter, when you're really fit and skinny, maybe you don't look as good with layers. You look a bit, you know, a little bit all over the place. But when you're fat, maybe you look better in winter clothes. So I just, I agree with Brenda Hashtag on that one. Here around mid-August, I get depressed. And not because summer's almost over, because I want summer to be over. I To be fair to her though, to, be, to give her a little bit of a pushback, she probably gets depressed because she's always wearing black and white. When it's a summer, she's not a, she's not a fat girl anyway. She's, she's in good shape as well. She probably doesn't look the greatest in summer either because she's a fashion girl that only wears black and white. That's kind of her brand. So when summer comes around and you're wearing all black, you kind of look a bit nuts. It already looks nuts when you're a black person, you do it. It must look even equally nuts when you're a white person, you wear black. I know it's meant to be kind of quote unquote cooling, but you do look a bit crazy. So she probably feels uncomfortable and a little bit weird. You probably stick out like a sore thumb because you probably blend in very easily in the winter when you're wearing all black. But in the summer, when you're wearing all black and you're still trying to do the all black like thing, it must look a bit strange and you must feel a little bit self-conscious and bloody blah, blah, blah. So that's probably where a lot of uh, agreement or grievances is coming from. I have worn all my silk dresses, strappy heels, naked the row of shoes, I've worn all my kitten heels and my ballerinas, I have rotated all of my sunglasses. I am done. I want to accessorize. I'm wearing one ring and that is making me overstimulated and I feel like I'm sweating on my face. 
Okay, now she's being a little bit dramatic. But it's a standard girl thing, standard girl shit, but she's being a little bit dramatic. A ring is making you stressed out. <laughs> Wearing too much jewelry is like literally giving you panic attacks. You need to relax. I like Brenda, but she needs to relax. Fingers. I want to be in like an oversized coat. I want to wear my boots. I want to be in my jeans. Cozy sweater on. I want to wear a belt. Tight things without feeling I'm sweating. I want to wear leather. Basically, there's no way of dressing in the summer without feeling a little bit uncomfortable and sweaty and sticky. Which is probably why that Kanye quote is very true. I forgot where he was saying it in an interview somewhere, but Kanye basically said something like, he never dresses for the season. He never dresses for the weather. He dresses based on his fits and he just makes it work. So if it's hot outside and he wants to wear a parka, he's going to wear a parka. And whatever's going on underneath is what's going on underneath. You know, that's it. There is no like dressing for the occasion, which is what some, which is what we don't do. Even I don't do it. As a, as a guy that's into fashion, into streetwear, even I don't do that. Even I kind of like, you know, take a peek out the window, see what I got on the weather, maybe check the weather app and shit. But Kanye is like steadfast and like, if I want to wear a parka, if I want to wear a hoodie, I'm going to wear it. I don't care what's happening outside. That's the kind of, you know, single mindedness you have to have when it comes to the fashions. But it's very difficult to do so. Imagine getting on a train with a parka on and sweatpants on and socks on and big boots in this type of weather. Woo! Other, I want to wear a suede, not a complete person in summer because i'm missing all of my stuff and that doesn't mean my fashion makes me or anything i just have fun styling things and i'm missing half of me in summer I don't want to be in a t-shirt i've had enough of my pleats please you know this meme it's to be fair i think t-shirts should be used way more during the summer seasons than they usually are i think even myself i can attest that i have an incredibly extensive very deep and kind of cool collection of t-shirts. I'm not going to lie. I've got a very good collection of t-shirts. Especially band t-shirts I bought back in the day that I haven't worn since ever. Because I don't really go out as much as I used to. But t-shirts probably don't get worn enough as just a t-shirt. Especially in London. you always got like a jacket on. You've always got a hoodie on. So summer is actually a good time to actually let your t-shirts. You know, especially your branded t-shirts. Your designer t-shirts. Your design t-shirts. Whatever. You know, breathe and have some life. Because you're always covering them up. And even more so, I imagine if you've got tattoos. If you've got tattoos, you probably never get the chance to actually let your sleeve tattoos show and have some life and get some skin, get some fucking sun and get some air or whatever. So you probably should take advantage of it during the summer and just fucking wear a t-shirt and raw dog it throughout the entire day. Doesn't matter if the weather turns in the evening. Fuck it. Go there. It's like someone in a puffer jacket. Oh, imagine a puffer jacket right now. It's someone in a puffer jacket and the caption is like, can't wait for it to be colder so I can really start dressing. That's me. I'm waiting. But then I'm thinking, I'm thinking to myself, as much as Brenda hashtag is right in what she's saying here, I'm thinking to myself, can you really call yourself a dresser? Can you really call yourself a stepper? Can you really call yourself a swag guard, right? Can you really call yourself a clothes horse? Can you really call yourself a model, an it girl, an it boy, an icon, if you can't dress in both seasons? And, I'll t and, I, and I'm kind of speaking to myself a little bit here, because I think I'm stepping. I think I'm dressing. I think I'm dripping when it comes to the winter. I've got that shit on. I don't play. But in the summer, my fashion is completely, it, it doesn't exist, right? It doesn't exist. I'm doing what every other guy does. I'm taking the jeans I already wear and just cutting them into shorts. I'm taking t-shirts and cutting them into tank tops. I'm doing the horrible shit. I'm not actually dressing at all. There's no like linens. There's no like pleats. You know what I mean? There's no like, there's no nothing. I'm not, you know, changing the fabrics and the, the you know, the buttons and the trouser lengths and nah. Nothing cool is happening. It's just fucking jeans cut into shorts, t-shirts cut into tank tops and we keep it moving. So my fashion sense in the summer is nil point but i wonder can you actually say you've got a good sense of style if you can't dress in both seasons you don't have to be crazy different but you have to be able to have a style or a sense of style or a wardrobe that's distinctly different from the winter if if you want to call yourself an all-around style person that's probably the thing you have to keep in mind you'd imagine Bing. seen enough of brad summer i want to see some coats i want to see some boots i see people layering their outfits kim there's people that are dying Yes. Why are you scrolling on social media then? Okay, cool. There's Brenda hashtag. Love her. She's amazing. She used to fucking open up her fucking Twitter replies and stop being a fucking pussy. 
open your Twitter replies. Let people rock on the replies. But I think she got burned a few too many times. I was like, you know what? Fuck all that shit. You guys are going to get my fits. You're going to get my posts. And we're going to keep it moving. Because, you know, Twitter's kind of mean. So I understand why she said that and did that decision. But I would like for her to open up her Twitter replies. Please, Brenda, hashtag, open up your Twitter replies. But she is kind of right with what she's saying. She is kind of right. Winter fashion is the best. Summer fashion is basically people that can't dress. But I also am happy that the fitness people who usually are wearing Gymshark every other day and look terrible have a chance to also show out. I feel for like fashion people get a bad rap with how they dress, but they get an opportunity to show out when the summer comes around because they can let their arms out, waist out, midriff out, everything. And everybody's like, oh, amazing. So they get a chance to shine. Everyone gets a chance to shine. It's a good thing. It's a blood clot good thing.